Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Marshall, aka the Bald Head Girl. Today we doing something different, but not too much different. We kind of staying in the comfort zone just a little bit. And I like being a little bit comfortable, but I like a little bit of change. I didn't want to do a repeat of my last video, so I just kind of gave it a little mm, gave it a little twist so um this is the finished look this is what we came up with i hope you guys love it if you do make sure you hit that like button down below but before you even do any of that any of that what i'm talking about make sure you hit that subscribe button it's probably right here it's right here very simple very easy and it's free it ain't i ain't on your subscription i'm not gonna be withdrawing money I Hit that subscribe button, join the fam. Let's continue to grow. Keep on watching. Okay, so for foundation, I'm gonna be using both of my NARS foundation. This is New Caledonia in both shades. This is the soft matte and this is the radiant. Baby, these together, fire duo. I'ma just give me a couple of pumps of NARS, Radiant, New Caledonia, Soft Matte. The latte makeup is less foundation, um, more, you're supposed to use like skin tints, but girl, look, I'ma do what I wanna do when I wanna do it, okay? So foundation is blended out. What do we think? What do we think? Okay, so now it's time for me to conceal. I'm going in with my Too Faced concealers. This is maple. And I'm gonna go right underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna take a little bit of chestnut because she's a little bit darker and go here. And I'm gonna let that dry down. If you don't know, I like I love to let my concealer dry down because it just gives me longevity. Mitchell bronzer, cream bronzer, and shade and lay. So a latte look, you're supposed to be like really, really bronzy. So that's why I grabbed this because I wanna be like so bronzy. And yeah, we want all of that. If you're not new to my channel, you already know, Smashbox Blur and Foundation Brush to blend this out. Girl, baby, I went in TJ Maxx and I seen they had this in TJ Maxx, baby. I, they had the blush brush in this and I was like, ooh, I have to grab me one because I've been wanting to try it. And it was like, what, $12? Compared to, these are like 30. The bronzer blends out so good, so good. I just wanna know why I haven't shaved under my arms yet. Like, girl, what are you waiting on? She's good. She's good. She gives you bronze. A tad bit. Taking chestnut and going right just a little bit. Morphe M532 brush and blend this right into my brows. My contour is blending out, but look, this is the new brush that I got. But as I'm looking at it, I'm trying to see why one darker than the other. Is this a fake? It wouldn't shock me if it was. That's how we're looking. I'm gonna take a little bit of my foundation brush and just kind of go on top of it because sometimes I don't want stuff to look too too harsh on me. Be nice and blendable, like you know what I'm saying. You don't see where it start, where it begin. That's what we're looking for. Finally, when I'm re-upped on my Smashbox brush, if you know, you know. If you've been watching me for a minute, y'all know I love this brush, but I could not find it anywhere. My son just, girl, I don't know what he did. <sighs> when I re-upped on it, now I'm scared to use it again, but I'm gonna let my concealer dry a little bit longer. So this is about as good as we gonna get. So I'm gonna go in and start blending this out. Y'all know I like to start at the bottom and work my way up because it just, I don't know. Oh my God, it's so soft, I love it. I forgot how much I love this brush. To take my 
my foundation brush and just go on top just to kind of diffuse that. This is how we're looking very not so much highlighted if you will so i'm gonna give me a little more brightness y'all know i love my under eye brightness scrub nobody's gonna take her away from me i don't care how many the, the people don't like it trans don't like it i love it this is my kevin aquan except concealer in s x11 and i'm just going in and just put me a little bit under my eyes i'm gonna basically put it everywhere that i concealed this concealer, you do not have to let it dry because it's a cream concealer, so it's already like dried down. And I shouldn't even be doing that because this concealer spreads like crazy. See what I mean when I say a little bit goes a long way? Like a long way. And so this is how we're looking before we set all of our concealer. It's blended out. It looks flawless to me in my opinion. Just nice and just seamless and blend. This is how we looking before we set. And we are, are blended out. I wanted to do cream blush, but I think I'm gonna skip because it's more of a more it's more so of a bronze look. So I'm going in this set. I'm using my one size powder in Sweet Honey. She has my heart right now. No, I know. I know. I'm so indecisive about everything. But I got options. <laughs> All right. Going in with my damp beauty blender. I like to take the extra extra access on in the palm of my hand just to kind of get that product kind of worked in before I have to, you know, go in. And then I'm going in and set. Tapping that into my skin. It's like the perfect, the perfect color. Yellow undertone is just so pretty. Look at that set of powder. Wow. Look at that. Look at that set of powder. You see the shine on my forehead? Watch it just disappear. Time be gone. Okay, so today I'm gonna use all three of my good bronzers. I have the Juvia's Place, I have the NARS, and I have the Fenty Beauty. But I'm gonna use all three of them, but I'm gonna use like a little bit of them, if that makes sense. I got a new bronzer brush. This is a Japanese brush. This is a 961. And I'm just gonna go into the top shade first. And then every time I do this, my face just seems like it's just it just looks airbrushed to me. Like it just looks airbrushed. Just going into the top shade. Girl, Juvia's Place just released cream bronzers. Just going in. I'm gonna go in with a NARS and 08 Laguna. I actually went and looked at 06, y'all, and 06 definitely looks like it's too, too light for me. It looks like it could be my foundation shade. The girl that worked at uh, Sephora, she was like, girl, that looks like they can be your foundation shade. So we kind of skipped on that one. How dark it is compared to my other ones. Just going in and set. It's not about how many products you use because if I can use plenty of them, I'm still just layering them on. I'm not putting so many products on my skin at once, if it makes sense. Taking my one size in translucent because y'all know she's my girl. I love her. I love her too. I just love one size. I want to be a one size. And just going right on top of that. It's just kind of brightening up without brightening up. 
like I mean I just like to do this it just makes a difference in my opinion with the two of them mixed so this is how we're looking I feel like we look nice and bronze I'm about to do my brows and then we gonna come and we gonna finish this out baby okay so brows is done I'm gonna take a little bit of translucent powder and go in the front because the front is giving me angry bird yeah it's just giving me a little bit of angry bird so I'm gonna just go in and just kind of press it just kind of diffuse it I think I just did my line too Latte is very simple, very brown eye-ish. I'm gonna use my coffee shop palette again. This is about to be so simple. I like simple makeup, simple eyes. So the dark brown here, I'ma just tap it in there, tap, tap, and just go and sweep it into my crease. Just like that, real simple but effective if that makes sense a little bit of this brown little saddle color i like this bronzer i mean i like this palette because it's like an everyday palette if you just want something everyday real cute real subtle let me switch this brush real cute real subtle she gives you just that like she gives you that without doing the absolute most This deep brown here and I'm gonna use that for my outer V area sparkly real nice bronze look it looks like a really nice eyeshadow this, I'm really quiet because I'm kind of scared because I hope it work out and I'm gonna just put this in the middle with my finger <laughs> shadow like that at all so I like to keep it as simple as I can but for another simple girl that's following me and listening to me like girl we both don't know how to do it then I'm gonna take me some brown liner I got this liner from Tower 28 this is in the shade draw me nice deep brown really really want to use black liner just take black because black kind of just opens my eyes up a little bit more flat brush and i'm gonna go into that deep brown here and i'm gonna use that for my bottom lash to kind of just smudge it a little bit because smudging just takes it to a whole nother level just takes it to more like sultry okay, so i'm gonna go put my lashes on and we'll be back okay so now that we have our lashes on this is how we're looking y'all know i like to take my bronzer brush and sweep this off of my Juvia's place. I will go on my NARS, but NARS is just too, like she's too dark for me to use in that area. It really makes a difference to me in my opinion. It just makes that cast just doesn't look like it's there there. I already know my one size powder. I love this powder. Girl, one size is all over. All you see is pink tops everywhere on my desk. Just going in and set my face. Okay, so this is how we're looking. I look flawless. Flawless. So, I'm going to go back in with a little bit of my bronzer. This is, I'm going to go in with the Mocha Mommy because she's a little bit more red and bronzy that's what i'm going for for this look so i'm just going to use a little bit of her to take my charlotte tilbury in number two like a little bit more mm. 
but you have to do this with a puff because it's going to give you that sharp you know that sharp edge look like this <laughs> Okay, so we are all blended out. This is how we're looking. We're pretty much done. Um, I'm indecisive about blush. Go in with me some orange blush just to kind of take it up just a little bit, like just a tad bit. So this is Toby. And I have Bella by Juvia's Place. I think I'm going to go in with Bella with a tad bit of Toby. And this is the other red brush I was telling you about, this available cheek brush. And we're gonna go in and we're gonna see how, oh yeah, this is it. Like she's blush, but she's not blush, if you get what I'm saying. Oh, this brush is cute, I like her. I'ma just use like a tad bit of Toby, like just a little bit of Toby. Yeah, that's cute. A little bit of my Morphe setting spray. Give me a little mist to kind of get all of those powders under control because let's be honest, I went OD, okay? Just like a tad bit. It's time for my lips. Um, I'm gonna try to use the Tower 28 and draw me my Mitchell and Rich Mitch first because I like to go in with a nice little, you know, like a, a base first. And then I'm going in with Tower 28 and Draw Me. And I'm gonna use my same lip comps. If she's not for this moment, then I don't know who is because she is definitely for the latte moment. Like, yeah, like, come on. So cute. She's just like, so cute. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I enjoy creating this. I feel like I look gorgeous. I think I say that in pretty much every video I film. I think I look gorgeous. Oh my God, y'all. Can y'all even see the full beat is giving 90s vibe, it's giving, I am a huge fan of like all of the old school music with the girls with the big old school, like this is what she's giving. She's giving very much old school, but for glam, she's cute. She's really cute. Set my face to the on till dawn because I want to see if this little trick really work. So. <laughs> Baby, I don't know what Patrick did, but Patrick did it with this okay all the Bottega dupes that I got off Amazon I actually have these and I have the huge ones at first I was kind of like I don't know if she's gonna give with a short hair but cuz I ain't seen no girls with short hair trying out these earrings so maybe I need to make me a real or a TikTok show showing the girls like this how we gonna look yeah it's the lip combo goes perfectly with this like the lips and the eyes it's giving real cute. I really, really like this. So thank you guys so much for the love and support. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, girl. You, I know you liking my videos by now, so I hope you subscribe, girl. I really do. So thank you guys so much for the love and support, and I'll catch you in the next one.